Aisha woke me up again at like 7.30, but it was nice because I was like, awesome, I woke up early, I have like another hour and a half left. But as I was waking up this morning, I had the weirdest dream. Like, I had weird dreams last night. I don't know. The night before, too, I had really bad dreams, too. I think, you know, like when you're stressed out in your own, whoop leaf blower men in the middle of the road uh, I think like when you're stressed out or going through like a rough time in your life um like the dreams kind of coincide with it I don't know I'm not good with dreams but I think that all dreams kind of mean something to a certain extent um and that kind of interests me hey guys so I just got out of class uh, my finance class and I'm just hanging on the couch Who's hanging out with me? Who's hanging out with me? You wonder. It's Beatty, of course. She's my hangout buddy. We're always hanging out together. Do you love me, B? Are you so sleepy? We're watching Full House. Um, it's like 1.07. I have to leave for work in like half an hour. I don't want to go to work, guys. I really don't want to. I'm tired. It's been a long weekend. I really think I just want to like take it easy this weekend, next weekend. So my vlog is probably going to be pretty boring because I just want to kind of chill out today. Why don't you make mom some food to eat? I always make you food. B, why don't you make mom some food? How come? You never make mom any food. I did her nails last night. And I didn't cut them because you can only cut them, like, I guess, like, a millimeter. Like, really, really tiny every month. Well, they're, because her nails were really long. But I, like, filed them down so they're a lot rounder. Because they were so freaking sharp when she would, like, play on the couch. She was just, oh, they were sharp. So I kind of, like, rounded them down with a file. She hated it. She hates when I do her nails. B, do you want to get your nails trimmed? She acts like she's excited, but she's not. Hey guys, so I just got out of work, um, and it was a decent day. I was really tired, and they made me stay an extra hour. It was kind of crazy in the store today because it was 75, 70% off, additionally off the clearance, which was insanely cheap, but I wanted to show you I um, got some packages in the mail today. So I got my business book, and I got my marketing book in the mail from Chegg. I love Chegg if you haven't tried it out. And then this is the packages I got for my mail, my mom, basically. Just stuff that I left in New York while I was there. Perfume. Oh, gosh. Perfume and just random -y stuff. Oh, Belle, look. Mom bought you your toy. Look at that. Look at that. Does it smell kind of like Sophia? I bet Sophia chewed on it a little bit. And just random -y things that she... I don't even know if there's anything in there. That she... Um, that back to, ooh, that's nice. Chappelle, are you okay over there? You can smell stuff. Anyway, yay! Excited love packages for my mom. They make my day. So I thought I would share with you what I'm eating for dinner. Not that you can really see it very well, but it is a stuffed red pepper. Um, it's stuffed with like ground beef, rice, and onions and stuff like that. And then it has tomato sauce over the top. And it's all stuffed inside a big red pepper and then it's baked. My mom pre-made these for me like a while ago when she was here. And then I just put them in the oven, like she makes them raw, and then I put them in the oven with tomato sauce, and they're so delicious. So if you've ever had stuffed peppers, you know how good this is, and I'm so excited to eat it. And I'm watching um, Vanderpump Rules, which is like a spinoff of the Beverly Hills um, one, and it's Stasi's birthday. Oh my goodness. Comment if you guys watch this stupid show, too. Hey, B, what you doing? Are you just hanging out? Oh my god, you guys. So... I'll have to show you when she does this sometime, but you see this little red little spot on her belly? It's like rubbed off hair because she like crawls across the carpet. It's like the funniest thing. I'll have to show you sometime. I call it her commando crawl. What you doing, beaners? I sleeping. Why do you like to sleep like that, you goofball? Look at that belly. It's a cute little belly. That little spotted little belly. I love it. Gurp. Look at that pearly whites. I brushed them last night, huh? You goofball. Are you ready for bed? Is it the night time? I love you. Mwah! Good morning, you guys. So, I'm just having breakfast. Toast with peanut butter on it. Um, mm -hmm. I had to switch my bags. 
Let me show you my school bags because I'm wearing a white skirt today. And my bag has gotten, I don't know if you can even tell. Probably not, but it's all blue from my jeans. So I just switched it to a leather bag so that it doesn't kind of like destroy my skirt and make it blue. Um, so yeah, it's 11.15. I have to leave here in about 15 minutes. I'm just going to finish eating my breakfast and then take Bella out to go to the bathroom. It's Tuesday morning and I'm getting ready for getting ready to head out to class. Ooh, it's hot out today. Thank God I wore a skirt. It says it's only 77 but feels way warmer than 77. Um, so, I just have to... I'm replacing my little scent bug, which I know I probably shouldn't have a freaking reindeer, but whatever, I got it. Oh, it is hot in here. Um, and so, I think Mary Mistletoe is in there. The only thing I don't like about these is they never fully use up and I don't smell them anymore. I don't know if I'm just used to it or what, but I have this new one called Mahogany Leather and, um, it smells just like the, um, teakwood and mahogany candle or mahogany teakwood. The one that smells a lot like men's cologne, like Abercrombie Fierce and stuff. So, I have that one now, so my car is going to smell like a nice man, and I'm totally down for it. So today I am breaking in some new flats. They're just like my Target flats that I love, that I know once they break in they're really comfortable. Um, but I can tell that they're already kind of rubbing. And so I tried this trick that I heard, I'm pretty sure Elle Fowler, um, all the Glitters 21 on YouTube, obviously you probably all know. Um, but she says this tip like if you're breaking in like heels or flats or anything is to put like Vaseline on the back of your heel where it rubs and I was always worried because I didn't want to ruin my flats but these ones are like not that nice anyways and I don't think they'll really ruin it you're not like gobbing you know it all over the place but I never wanted to try it on like my Tory Burch flats because it's like real leather um so I tried it today I'll see how it goes um I don't know I feel like it's kind of a different little tip. I don't know. It's much better than looking at band-aids at the back of people's feet. That's so ugly. They do have those like blister band-aids, which are kind of nice. They're like jelly and like just conform to your, you know, heel, but I didn't have any. So, oh, well, I feel like if it's that bad, I can run, um, after class and get some, but I think I'll be fine. I just need to break them in and get my feet used to them. One thing I don't understand, please, you know, if you understand this, you can feel free to tell me, but I never understood the fact why people blare their music in a parking garage with all their windows down for everyone to hear. I never understood that because like, what is the purpose of that? Or like driving down campus, like we have a really small campus and speed limit's like 15 miles an hour or something crazy like that and you're blaring it like what's the purpose of that like to show off I don't know I guess whatever by the way guys the whole Vaseline trick on my heels did not work failed miserably like my feet hurt so freaking bad I was gonna go to Walmart really quick because I just needed to pick up broccoli um, from the grocery store because I wanted broccoli with my salmon and quinoa tonight for dinner. But my feet, I literally had to go home. Like, I have been driving home first before I go to the grocery store because my feet hurt so bad that I couldn't even bear it to walk into the store, like, for five seconds. Like, oh, it hurt. I was about to cry on my walk home. I mean, my walk to my car from class. Oh, it hurts so bad. I'm just actually watching an old Pretty Little Liars, but the new one's about to come out any minute now. So excited. But basically, I've just been, um, I retook my business quiz, and I got a 15 out of 15. Hoorah. Um, and then I basically just figured out what homework I have to do. Like, I wrote, like, a to-do list, because that's what I need to do. And I started some laundry. Um, I haven't eaten dinner yet, because... I'm not really hungry and my salmon is not defrosted yet so it might be a late dinner but I don't know yet um so I just kind of like made a list of different things that I needed to do I'm a list person like to the T because if I write it down I'm way more likely to actually get it done um and I've really been trying to kind of get things done when they need to be done instead of waiting until the last minute like I'll do that I'll do laundry but I won't finish it um like I'll leave it in the closet and it'll just become so daunting for me as a task that I just keep putting it off. So I've been really trying, same I do the same thing with my dishes. 
um, and cleaning and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've really been trying to do it as it happens. So like as I dirty dishes, clean them. As I do dirty laundry, clean it. I mean, and put it right away. Like I've been really trying to do that and I'm trying to keep up that with school as well, especially reading because I don't read my textbooks very much and I really need to. So um, yeah, I'm gonna start trying to become more of a, cause I'm not really a procrastinator with school stuff, but reading wise, I get behind and then I'm like, God, I have like three chapters to read before the test and it becomes so much more of a daunting task. So anyways, Pretty Little Liars is on. Bye guys. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys really quickly what I do for dinner if I make dinner. Um, typically I will make enough to make two meals. So I'll do like, this is quinoa, broccoli, and then salmon. And then on my salmon I just have creole seasoning which is like a spicy type of seasoning. And then I'll make either dinner or lunch for tomorrow. This will be my lunch tomorrow because I'm actually going to Lisette's house for dinner. But it's just the same thing. I just made, basically make enough for two meals. It's just kind of easier that way and I really like doing it that way. Good morning guys. So um, basically I woke up this morning. It's like 8.41. Um, I've been awake for a little while just answering comments. Whoa, I look crazy on my videos. Um, and my repairman just came and let me show you. Oh. I guess, like, it's way more of a problem than we thought it was going to be. It's not me, though. To see the size of this pipe, I guess there's a clog right here because of the size of the pipe is not big enough for something. I don't know. So, basically, he's going to go get another pipe and um, hopefully be able to fix it. So, yay. I'm probably not going to be here, but um, he's, like, I'm very familiar with him and whatnot, so I trust him just coming in and then leaving when he's done. He's a professional guy, so he's fixed many, many things for me. And yeah, I just really wanna get this fixed, so I don't wanna delay the process of like having to meet up again because he's got a job and he just comes like outside of his regular job. He works for my landlord, which is like a realtor company, so yeah, I didn't wanna to have to try to find another time for us to meet, so hopefully this can get fixed today. So I'm just watching Full House right now and I'm making breakfast. I'm just gonna have some like multi-grain toast which is in the toaster and some peanut butter, pretty simple. So I just got done taking Bella for a walk but I wanted to show you guys how cute these little bones are. Aren't these the tiniest little bones? Like honestly, like in comparison to my face, it is so itty bitty, they're little bitty milk bones. They're literally like the size of my finger. They're so, so tiny, but they're a little cute. Bella, do you like them? Look, look, B, I have two for you. <gasps> Yum! She likes them. Thanks, mommy. <laughs> so I just finished filming my ooh, outfit of the week, and I'm just like wondering, like I'm not uploading it, I'm just kind of like filming it, like, Here's Bella. Uh, hi, B. <laughs> I'm filming them like all at one time, so I'm hoping that the angle is good um, or like the coloring is good because the coloring is really weird. Like on my phone, it's fine, but on my camera, it's like weird this early in the morning. Um, so I'm hoping that it's fine. So bear with me if this month, this week's um, outfit of the weeks, but you'll probably see this after that anyways so never mind that statement but hopefully it's okay or I can work out the kinks um, of it so yeah I'm just hanging out we got like seven more minutes of what I have to wait my world boy I go best me I go best me do go best me you go best me you gonna miss me do you love me love you B what's your duck to that are you on the alert? Nobody's coming to see you. Nobody wants to see you. <sighs> Still believe that, huh? You don't believe that anybody wants to see you. She has to go into her kennel. Oh, I know. When I leave because the repairman's coming back and I'm like, I don't think that she'll have any problem with him because I just don't think that she will. But I just worry. I don't know. I don't want her to, like, bite him. Just because, I don't know. Like, I know she knows she's seen him before and she's smelled him before, but because I'm not here, I don't know what she'll do. So, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and put her. Oh in. my god! I think there was just a dead kitty in the road. Oh, the kitty. Oh, poor kitty. That always makes me so sad. Oh, I want a kitty cat so bad. That could have been like my kitty cat that I wanted to adopt. Oh, kitty kitty. I feel horrible when animals die. It's so sad. <sighs> Anyways, that made me sad. Hey guys, so I just got out of class. Um, I feel like I'm always telling you guys how badly I have to pee, but for real, I have to pee so bad right now. Do you guys ever, though, like, random question, I know, um, but do you guys, like, when you go to the bathroom at, like, a frequent place, like, say your school or work or anything like that, where you have to pick a stall, do you always go in the same one? Because I find myself always going into the same stall, um, if it's open every single time. Do you guys, like, switch it up? Do you go in the same one? Is that really, really, like, who the hell cares, Kelly? Probably. But it's something that I thought about, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if anybody else thinks about that. I don't know. So I'm trying this candy cane, which is from Christmas. I know I needed to eat it, but my mom just sent it to me. It's the chocolate-filled, it's chocolate-filled, and it's from in Denver, Colorado. Yeah, so it's basically just like, I'll show you. Basically just like a cherry candy cane with like chocolate in the middle. It's not bad. It's pretty good, actually, so... I'm not going to eat the whole thing, but probably just a little bit to give me, like, to give me a little sugar boost before I head to work. This is the weirdest looking candy cane that I have ever seen. I, like, bit half of it off, and this is what happened. It doesn't look like a candy cane. If I didn't tell you what it was, I bet you would not have guessed it. It looks so gross, but it tastes good. Hey you guys, so I just got home from work and I'm really sad because I put little Miss B um, in her cage and so I don't remember what I was saying when I got interrupted but basically um, I was bummed, I was feeding Bella, but I was bummed that the repairman did not come to finish fixing my sink like he said he was because I put Bella in her cage so that nothing happened and I don't know if you can see but yep still not fixed so that's kind of sucky but whatever um poor B oh I wanted to show you guys really quickly well I had to buy this shirt it's just a jean shirt from Hollister today because it's part of our new look policy I don't love it but um, we didn't really have anything else because everything was sold out so I'll either like return it if something better comes in or I'll just keep this and yeah and then I wanted to show you sorry this shirt is so wrinkly but this sweater that I got which is just kind of fun and cute it's kind of like that high low it's just really like textured and patterned this was only eight dollars guys eight dollars from fifty dollars because everything is 70 percent off additionally off of clearance so this is a small and I thought that it would be really nice and cozy and cute and comfy so I thought with leggings this would be yay really nice. so he came and fixed my sink so that's really awesome so I can use it now Walking. Hey guys, so I'm just sleeping on the couch. Belle, what are you doing? Getting ready to come step right on top of me, probably. Um, and I'm just watching TV. It's like, I don't know what time it is. I'm so tired. It's been a long week and yeah, I'm just really sleepy. So... I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. I have a friend's birthday party that I got invited to, but I don't know. I like, I'm really tired and I don't know if I want to go. We'll see how I feel later. Um, yeah, so just hanging out on the couch, watching the full house. Be what are you doing over there? Be. Do any of your dogs do that? Like sit. I don't know if you can see her. Like sit on the top of the couch like that. Or is my dog the weirdest dog? You can just confirm my suspicion. So 
so I just woke up from my nap. <sighs> I had a good nap, like a long time. I don't even know how long. It's like 6.30 now. Um, I wanted to just show you guys the sunset because it's kind of pretty. Hey guys, so I am getting ready to go on a walk with Bella. I'm gonna show you kind of around downtown. I am I went for a walk last or a couple nights ago and it was so pretty. Things that I had discovered that I had never really seen before, so I wanted to kind of show you guys because I couldn't show you at night. But I just filmed Bella's ready to go and she's letting me know. I just filmed my morning skincare routine and uh an intro to like a question and answer type of video. So exciting stuff and it's like 130 so I feel very productive today so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this beautiful day oh look how nice it is out there and I'm gonna take you guys along with me let's go done as you can tell I went on a walk with Bella through downtown Tampa it was so much fun I've never gone that far on the river walk before which is such a beautiful thing so I recommend you guys like like exploring where you live because I never realized I've lived here for four years how much Tampa has to offer I guess and how pretty it is so I did that and then I just sat out by the pool for another hour reading my management book which and taking some notes which didn't really work out so well but it's like 4 o'clock now. I came up to um, start something to eat because I'm kind of hungry and um, do some of these massive amounts of dishes that I have to do. Which, meh, who likes to do dishes? Not this girl.